Okay, here we go. Let's go. These have been pretty cute little games. Yeah, I think so. I'm glad I decided to try them. Oh, Mary again. Little Miss Extortionist. Need more money? Is that why you're here? <laughs> hey, it's Mary. Remember me? Yeah? How could I forget? You extorted me. <laughs> I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. Out of the detective, that's you. Saw the case of the invisible wizard. Mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Oh boy, reenactment time. She's LARPing, everybody. Frog detective? <laughs> That's funny. Oh my- oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous. I'm the supervisor. I'm, I'm kind of like your boss, but, uh, not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's, it's so hard to describe our professional relationship. You're like a helper of sorts? Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha, it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha, <laughs> obviously. It was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I, I can't tell you on the phone. Ah, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love, later. Yeah, that's exactly how it went. Mm -hmm. Awesome job. Realism, 10 out of 10. Accuracy. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just like what happened. Uh-huh, I know, right? She's a, she's a great actress. Frog detective? Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Yeah, that's what he that's totally what he would say, right? And because it's a reenactment, we're not picking up our notebook because apparently he for, we forgot. Yep, still a doorknob. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station, and it's all so cool, like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes a detective's notebook. He's almost as good at this as she is at extortion. Yeah, uh -huh, I know, right? So good at extortion, she tells you she's going to extort you before she does it, and then you just give her the money, and she thinks that's extortion. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Do you want us to leave you a review? Or are you sure? Because, I mean, that's nice of you to do a recap. I, I know you really tried, but I think you need to hone your craft a bit more. Oh boy, here we are, riding the worm train.
Phone box. And a scooter? Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why do you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why do you assume it's ringing for you? <laughs> I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Good point. <laughs> Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? A tumbleweed? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He just says what, who, like I just did. <laughs> what? Who? It's on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why didn't you call? I have a special surprise for you. Hmm? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. Ooh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. When you order, then. A scooter, of course. Yeah, I saw it. Sick. It should be near the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun, too. I will. Alright, see ya! And, by the way, this is not a street. This is clearly some kind of desert. How are you supposed to use a scooter in the desert? Like, I could be wrong, but isn't this sand? How's that gonna work? Brown scooter, sick. Hop on with left shift, okay? Here we go on our scooter. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's the don't worry about it thing, huh? Space with for our jump and hop off with left shift, okay. Look at us go! Woo! Slow poly video game sand. Yeah, true. Good point. There's no way this would work in real life, but going through sand, but we're in a video game. Practically a solid, uh huh? Oh! Movie trailer time! A game by Worm Club, with assistance from Vic Screen. And soundtrack by Dan Golding. Part 3 of our trilogy. Starring Lobster Cop. Susie Rabbit. Sherman and the Bandits. Frog Detective. Plus a special guest. Aw, they didn't give us anything with like realistic images thrown in again. Aw. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Once again, created by Grace Bruxner and Thomas Bowker.
Yeah. The epitome of cool. Riding into a western town on a scooter. <laughs> and I see we only did this to have a cool view of the town. Um, can, can we go? Can we get back down now? Go on the path to the actual town, please. Thank you. Hi, Lobster Cop. Hey, Lobster Cop. I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, Detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Ooh! This town is thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there is something missing. A sheriff! Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway... I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there's something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years they were missing a vile ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Hmm? The position has been filled. Oh? I need the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Sheriff Mason Mole. Wow! Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you're the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here. Notebook. Oh, he's the one who took it. Sony mailed it to you. And you know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. Didn't seem busy a minute ago. Haha, <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I can use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. Have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. You need to be reminded of what I want. Come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. He seems pretty confident. Oh, look, it's my notebook that I left behind. Case 3, Mystery of the Missing Hats. Since apparently the case of no sheriff, 
got solved already before we got here. Mobster Cop. Motive. There's no possible motive for Mobster Cop to do this. Needs. Crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and meal. Notes. Hey, it's Mobster Cop. Number one best detective. I am very jealous. So tall. Me it to town. Howdy. Fun silly little achievements, I see. So, there's a person. Hello. Susie. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I. You're the best, thanks. I need to help me break into this bank. Hmm? I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. You said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. And agree to the favor. So, so now you're changing the story? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Hmm. Well. What? But why, why wouldn't you want me to break into a bank? Jeez. No. Hi. Please tell me you're not going to ask me to break into anything. Uh, if you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I I'm not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here in the Fry Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, where- oh yeah, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog and, um, I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you, do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. Oh, oh lord. What a shame. What a bad... What a cruel fate that must be to be... A mail delivery person. Who? I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. That's not how it works. Open your eyes. Their society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive. I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm a detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no. I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants info from me. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. 
They're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. Why don't you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. You should ask a ghost scientist. Yeah, I know, right? Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, can you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Secret Societies. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats? Eh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, Detective. These societies run deep. I barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh, yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. Craig. Motive. Wanted membership to the secret hat stealing society. Needs. Defin definitive proof of a ghost. Notes. Either conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy me detective disguise. Drat. Just wants to be part of something. Yeah, don't we all? I thought he wanted to be able to be in the ghost sighting society, though. Not the hat stealing one, but okay. I guess the frog detective is weaving some lack of credibility into his book just cuz. Because that's how he sees books. Hey, worms. Do you have anything to say about this? No? Okay. Ooh, a tumbleweed. Hi. Do you have anything to say? Sheriff? Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha, huh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how do you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before he became sheriff. Do you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. Hmm. I think, I feel like that's kind of suspicious that this new, um, sheriff, um, won't really say much of anything. Mason Mole. Motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs. To be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow of a few words. Previous job. Helped out. Yeah, helped out in quotes. Hmm. You're pretty suspicious, sir. Of 
gloves. Oh, these can come in handy. Uh, get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Hmm? Cool. Okay, that's weird. You say they're evidence, but you let me take them. Why? Is this gonna be- is this gonna turn into... Who Framed Frog Detective? Instead of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Hmm? Okay, nice. Nice board over here. Are these all the people who know each other? Is that all this is? Or who are related to each other or something? Can we go in here? No. Nice, a bug. Just bugs and snakes out here, I see. No, oh, a cemetery? Hi there. And a worm playing piano. Um, um, might, might I inquire as to um, how you're able to do that when you're um, a worm? Because, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but you don't have hands. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't question it, right? Don't question it. Impressive, though, to be able to play piano without hands. Bonnie. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? You must look like a heck of a suspect. Why's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. It looks kind of looks like you are wearing a hat, though. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. Pfft. I'm literally joking. Haha. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, haha. <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah. I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. <laughs> Mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, lol. Okay, lol. Hey, detective. Hmm? Yeah? I know all about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, lol. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my whole various nature, I take the role very seriously. Oh yeah, I'm sure. For example, did you know the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Kind <laughs> of gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL. It's got the gravely thing. <laughs> can I ask you some questions about this case? Ghost photos. 
Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Haha, <laughs> legend has it. They're haunted. I don't know if I believe it. You're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Cat stew. You didn't actually make cat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making I am making stew though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Uh, do you have bandits in the saloon? Oh well, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're you're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right! Get them to stop talk taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is... Stew? Cat stew! Hmm? I'm joking! Sorry, I'm, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Wear them here with a stew, keep them here with a party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan! I don't have enough ingredients, though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some money again. Yay. Oh, and around the, these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Can you collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Well, that's about it. Carrots money. Bonnie. Motive. Practical joke, perhaps. Needs. Carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking! Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen Cowboy County historian. Hates creativity. Well, okay then. Okay, they're missing photos. Ones that they hope to put up someday or those ones that Craig stole? Okay, tell me about these pictures, Bonnie. Is this a ghost? Ha, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Oh. I might know what this is referencing. I mean, I've not played the game yet, even though I have it and I want to. But I think this is referencing a game called Chicory, because the main character is a little dog that's an artist that looks a lot like this dog. And a thing they're able to do is change colors with the magical paintbrush of their scenery. So that would make total sense. I bet that's a reference. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Who that? Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, oh, why? Legend has it, this rat was a real mean guy. He'd put banana peels out for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. Great sheriff, loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. What about this? This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. 
That's all snappy for Ash. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Is he a relative of Fresh Axe from the island in the first episode of this trilogy? Wow, it's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, it's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. <laughs> okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? It didn't come out right, lol. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. And that photo's over 50 years old. Take me word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. So that was a total strikeout. Incoming ad break in a minute, everyone. There's a ghost. Okay, we're about to have an ad break starting in a little bit, so I'll wait to do this one. So it won't be in the middle when it's going. Oh, maybe it's not happening. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it is. So, waiting for a minute. So interesting. A ghost. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. People are back. I don't remember. Okay, with theremin. Yeah, I heard that sound earlier. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who's lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to it, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do, I'd be glad to be rid of it. Cool. That's what Craig wanted. Um, hello. Who are you? Pistol. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. Or maybe not quite, given that the cases are short. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Haha, <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. How we met? Not in person, though. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. 
That's me, finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I'd love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. Will we? Is, how can you be so sure? I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an... Uh, well, you see, it's clearly a... Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. And which was really scary. I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. The curse. Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the thousandth visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. Oh, you were only gone 13 minutes. That's interesting. Hi, Ian. Welcome back. Through the connection issues. Oh, crud. I didn't even see it warn me that something went out. Oops. That sucks. I didn't even realize that happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's sad. Yeah, because as far as my Streamlabs is going, it's acting like I'm still live, for, like I was from the start. I swear it's like I didn't see a warning from it either. That's just weird. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I just gave it to him. That's not what you do, Pistol. Never do that online. Don't trust it. You did what? Relax. How else was I going to get my prize money? This seems really dangerous. I'm just jealous because I won 100,000 money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Pistol has some learning to do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now. No, no, don't. Frog detective, no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you dare. Don't. You'll, you'll just lose your money. <laughs> yes, no. No in caps. No. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Can I ask you some questions? Detective has more warning. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Amuse. You mentioned eating a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. Your hat is a weird shape. I know this. 
I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, I think that's it with him. Oh, I have the ghost pick, but I thought I was supposed to give it to somebody else. You're going to do some exercising, but you're still here, Ian. I've had a photograph for you to paint. Oh, really? Thank you. Can I take a look? Sure, here it is. That's the most terrifying photo I've ever seen. Why do you show me this? It's awful. Oh, no. Painting this would feel like an actual crime. Like I would ask you to investigate me for painting this. Well, that's no good at all. Please take this away from me. I will, sorry. Can I ask you some questions? A haunted photo tried to give away the photo. Achievement. Okay, so I guess giving you that picture wasn't a good plan. Pistol. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs. Amuse and some internet safety lessons. Yes, absolutely. I second that on the internet safety lessons. Totally. But then again, it's like, eh? Because I don't think the frog detective is paying attention. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for... No, it's not. Cursed. Allegedly. Always give your banking info to anyone who asks for... No. No. Not at all. Just what were we thinking? I, I don't know. I don't know. Am I supposed- no, I'm not supposed to take another photo from the wall. Can I go upstairs? No. Yes? Are there pictures up here? No. Hi, who are you? Dusty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I'd assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? Um, kind of a lot. Um, you could get sunburned? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. I to mention it beams thoughts into your head. Mm -hmm. You sure think about, think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Really? You think? Who are we to determine wrong and right? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind me saying you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. You have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Mm, okay. Ahem. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say a hee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. Their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I, gave an, I give a nod and smile back too. And I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town.
That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say it's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. No, just about your poem, okay. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it? Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. Hmm. How about that from his sack near the tracks? I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. How about that? Or, I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, from his sack. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. Hmm. Any of them could work, really. I don't know, near the tracks, maybe? I like near the tracks. Near the tracks. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, when headed off towards the store to get some more, because he was bored. He finished quickly, smart and sure, when headed off towards the store. He finished quickly, smart and sure, when headed off to get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off because he was bored. I like because he was bored. Because he was bored. He finished quickly, smart and sure, when headed off because he was bored. But just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. There was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. An office block wouldn't be, um, overly surprising, I don't think. Well, maybe out here, but, meh. Nessie, I guess that could be surprising. Why not a goblin on a rock? He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space, or the thing had gone without a trace. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. Just so I won't keep picking number three every time. A tumbleweed in its place. Ooh, plot twist. Okay. He walled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed, feeling like an egghead, to tell his friend Ned. I feel like, given the length of the first part of that, Back to bed fits best. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect, the perfect poem. I can't wait to recite in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all, I had lots of fun. I feel like I understood in the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Thank you. I have a lot of stuff. Dusty. Motive. Want to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Needs. Just someone to talk to, I think. Notes. Poet, icon, legend, friend. Wants to live the cowboy life. 
Not great at budgeting. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that's dangerous. Better not jump down from there. <laughs> Disconnected again. Oh no. Things aren't telling me that disconnects are happening, like seriously, so that's just weird. Mate's just Twitch being strange. No, you DC'd? Oh, okay. We'll have to go. That's okay. Wendy. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, this time we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh, um. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. We need a specific item that isn't in stock. We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. It's a great turnaround. It's a, it is one of our many great policies. Such as, we are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? You can guarantee that you will be either be satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. Your feeling towards the product product doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Fortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. <laughs> the mystery, I mean. It's stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. You have no internet right now, Ian. Oh, no. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here in official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. It'd been embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in future just tell people what you're here for? Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear it. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha, huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. So you just started running the shop? How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been my family for generations. I thought in my hands it'd be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Why well, is just a silly photo? It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? Besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Huh, okay. Kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Hey, this is what we need for... Pistol.
our artist who needs a muse. Wendy. Motive. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. Needs. Her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz. Rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm not carrying around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird. Especially not me. Wire. Carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Yay. Because Bonnie needed those. Now you have carrots instead of carrot money. I think we need cactus flowers too for her. Yep, there's one. Hi, Gilf. Stream going all right? Looks like my cut out some point. Yes, yes, it did. I've been going for way longer, and it says this is now Frog Detective 3, because these Frog Detective games are kind of short. But yeah, had a disconnect problem a little bit ago, even though it came back. But other than that, it's been going all right. Hope you're doing well. I'm currently solving the case of the missing hats in this Old West town. Good to hear it. Yeah, you're doing all right. Same well wishes go out to you. Thank you. Already went in there. Oh, a map. Oh, great. I can use this to orient myself and get lost in this needlessly large town. Yay, I needed one of those. Now I have a map. Need more flowers, though. I think. Or maybe one was enough. Back to the saloon. Hello. You want carrots? For your stew. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best, detective. How do you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Can I ask you some questions about the case? We'll give item cactus flowers. That's been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. The isn't quite right yet. Can you get me more pack cactus flowers? I'm on it. So yeah, I need more than one. Making the art style of this game simple and key. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I like it too. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Okay, here's a picture you'll want. I had a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It'd be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? What did the witch's curse? I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm going to paint it immediately. 
Cool. And... Info. Yeah, he got scammed. And he that made him think he lost his artistic abilities or something. But, yeah. I hope he will never do that again. And we're back. And he's painting us a lovely picture. And voila! Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah. If I throw it out, I don't mind. I'm just happy you got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Now we have a nice portrait to give to Wendy. Amuse. And some internet safety lessons, yes. And once again, I have to say, do not give your banking info to anyone who asks for it. That is a bad plan. Frog Detective is wrong in these notes. Okay, so that's taken care of. Hello. Portrait done. Here you go. So you're not going to believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm, I'm sorry. What? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting the portrait for me, detective. Yeah, don't trust books and email back the nice people offering me money on the internet. Frog Detective is such good advice. Yeah, I question Frog Detective's advice. I really do. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. You say so. Thanks. Wonder what that's going to be for. I got a lot of stuff in this case. Portrait painted. Hi. Who are you? What do you want? Rhonda Dynamite. They come from far and wide to face off with a powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I don't have a weapon and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You can't just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No, but I wider here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, Frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes? You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Wow, finally... Finally, a person with some sense in these games. Wow. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? Uh, frog detective, frog detective. Ugh. You have a great point. Oh, 
here's the PSA from the game creator, Grace Bruxner. Detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Oh, okay. Even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? I'm leave it there because an ad is starting soon. When people come back, I will continue. Did it go? I can't tell. Because that's been weird for me. So it's been notifying me when my ad things happen, but it's like it didn't happen, or I think it didn't for a minute, and then it goes, oh, hey, an ad thing happened. I mean, I don't want to go if someone's not here. Oh, there we go. So, when people rejoin us, I will continue. And there we go. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of missing ads. Just in time. You find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Take him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. Makes you want to be the sheriff. I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that you're solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one was going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You can always talk to Mason Mole. Show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? About being the sheriff. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force! I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. Oh, you're in luck, because I do. If I had, a, if I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I get you the writing supplies, just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Here, have some writing supplies. Apply for the job, the right way. Oh, how do you get those so quickly? I already had them. 
out to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. Thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. Wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be run to dynamite. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Your job. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. You're worried about me telling on you. I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, oh, okay, then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Can you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? Mm, no reason. I'm, I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? No, there's nothing else to say over here. I think I know why he's asking that. I think he's suspicious of Lobster Cop. He seems kind of suspicious to me. Rhonda Dynamite. Motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch, though. Needs to write a resume and learn some nonviolent conflict resolution skills. Notes. Wants to fight me. No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. Well, she only knows where you live, dude, because you told her. She didn't ask. You just told her. You really don't know how to be safe, do you? Hey, Craig, you wanted a ghost photo, right? So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe? Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Again, I mean... I don't really know either why we have that now. But we've given him ghost proof. Let me get- are we supposed to help her break into this place? Is that what the pickaxe is for? Really? Should we be doing this? Is this okay? I excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. You should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? But nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh, so you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Sure, there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help? Typical. 
I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. Aaron always banks or booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Y you have to ask? <laughs> well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vile to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, oh, so you'll help me. Hmm, I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top that said, Crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. I mean, there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? About that vile piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be for looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. Does that sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? Like, is there anything else? We already, I think we already talked about the vault, but maybe not. No. So let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about? We kick the bank teller. No. What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I wasn't. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's conundrum. Yeah, well, thankfully we know crime isn't real. Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Sure, one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. I think I know just the person. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great. So it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help... Yes, thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. So I guess we are helping her break in. Susie. Motive. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes. Notes. Short stature, shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules, you think? Ethical criminal. Is that possible? Seems kind of like an oxymoron, if you ask me. But I know just who to go to for a fake ID. This one. Uh, could you make me a fake ID? You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you'd help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. You want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Okay. All right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. <sighs> Still in the realm of 
but feels like we shouldn't be doing this. Real professional operation, he's, uh, he's running, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's the word for it. Totally. Hi, I have your, um, fake ID, which I really probably shouldn't be giving you, but the game is making me. Before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. Oh, yeah, because that's a good reason to be doing this. So, here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, oh, no, please, please don't. Please, please don't. Please don't do that. No. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that, that's okay. You, you don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. Detective, help me break into a bank! No, I said no. I said you didn't have to. No, no. He should call you the burglar. I don't want to be called that. <laughs> Frog Detective 3. Frog Detective gets arrested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's going to happen here. That would be quite a plot twist, huh? Detective, um going to jail himself, a place he does not believe in. Fine, fine. Here I got the map out for you. I committed a crime to get a crime map. Awesome. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Oh, good. So, is that our silver lining here? I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Such a professional looking map, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, do we finally have everything you want, Lobster Cop? I mean, I think we still need to get flowers for Bonnie in the saloon. I think from the cactuses around here? Because that part wasn't done. Oh, there's one with a big flower on it. Yep. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. That's what they're for. Okay, cool. Here's another big flower. I think I needed a third one. Well, I mean, I already gave her one, and I think she needed four. Oh, hi. Who are you? What are you doing up here? Sherman. Wow, look at you! Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe? Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Uh, is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. 
Haha. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks. Hmm? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? You hear about the missing hats. The missing... Hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Me not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Can you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking. Because I'm an outlaw. Oh, <laughs> Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Yeah, we know. She said so. Clearly she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. Just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. I'm not saying you'll do a bad job or anything, but, it's, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. He's spoken to him much. He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so we'll give him time to settle in. But I don't know. It'd be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? The Sheriff. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? I'm not sure. I honestly want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? The mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He, he made a crown out of it. Yeah, that's Martin the sloth from Frog Detective 1. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think slots do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? They find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I see more along the lines of a pickaxe. Hey, we've got one of those. Yay! Well, that'd probably probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Do you mind if I give you a pickaxe? You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I wouldn't hear if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that, thanks. You can also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. Hey, I'll take the shovel for now. Offer's open. Me after I've solved the case. Okay. Yeah... Definitely hardcore hitting on the frog detective there. Yeah, this dude is smooth. Uh -huh. Yep, totally. Totally smooth. But it's time to solve a case. Not um, go out for dinner just yet. Sherman. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Needs. A pickaxe to break into the mine, which I just gave him. Notes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. I hope he didn't do it. Yeah. I mean, I kind of hope so, too. I mean, that he didn't do it, that is. Uh, 
I don't know what we're going to use the shovel for. I think I still need a cactus flower, though. Nope, that's not high enough to get up there to where I think I have to go to get the last one. Is there one up here? Can I see where to go from here? Well, did I find all the flowers already? The cactuses. I thought there's supposed to be four. You just go up here? I see another one over here. Hydrate, thank you. Yep, time to stretch again, too. Can I please get up there? I think I need to to get the flower. I mean, I'm not supposed to go up there. I can't find a way up. Maybe, maybe I have enough flowers already. Maybe it's fine. Flowers. Please tell me that's enough. Eh. Where is it? Where's the last one? Because I think I still need one more. Do I have what you need yet? So are you finished? Huh? Do you find all the things I asked for? I think so. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map of the crime scene. Looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel, hmm? I think you'd be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. You know what a key is, don't you? A meal for the number one best detective. Nothing particular appetizing in your belongings there, detective. Oh, yeah. I have to get... Yeah, I have to help with the stew to give him a meal, that's right. Forgot about that. So I really do have to find this other flower somewhere. Not over here. I already went up there. No, that's our... Can we ride our scooter to go faster? Yes. Can... Oh, scooter can get us up this hill. I forgot about the scooter. How did I forget about the scooter? Here we go. Yay, last flower. I was right. I just need the scooter to get up here. Yep. Okay. 
I have the last flower for your stew. It's my first time with a scooter. Yeah, it is. You didn't give me a scooter in the other ones. Hi. Have a flower for your stew. Are we done yet? Great. Here's what I've collected. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you told me the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? It's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. You like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting him. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great. Thanks. We're gonna give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Okay. There we go. Put a key. Is there something else we've not done yet? We already talked to you and you said hardly anything. And you're still not saying anything. I feel so nosy talking to him. <laughs> yeah, and he's not saying a word. So no, that wasn't the answer. I already helped her out. Did we do everything for you? Yes. We can't go in there. Alright, talk to him and talk to him. Anything from you? No. Because she's who I got the map from. I got the pickaxe from him. Is there anybody I seriously haven't seen yet? Other than Lobster Cop over here? I talked to him up there. This gate needs a key. Perhaps we should find one and get Lobster Cop's help to open it. Yes. But where's the key? Just find it on the ground somewhere? Hell ladder. Why do we have a ladder? If I were a key, where would I go? Where would I be? Usually getting stuff involves finding it in a random location or someone giving it to me. Scooter time. Whoops. That's not a key. Am I 
That's not either, but I guess that's another flower I could have picked. Do a well. Can't seen this before. Hey, this ladder's perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. There we go. A use for the ladder. Oh, there's a key. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. I don't think they're the right person to call people out for being careless, frog detective, because, okay, you think books are pointless, and you think it's a great idea to give people your address when you first meet them, and you think that those hoaxes online where you click on a link and they ask for your bank info are a good thing. I, I don't trust your judgment. I'm sorry. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. Why, yes, you can. And because it's faster, I think or hope. Scooter time. Have what you want. Oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel, hmm? I think you'd be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Oh, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. Go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Yeah, never mind. Just eating your meal after I did all the work. What did you do again, exactly? But now I can go in here. Well, here goes nothing. He did, um, number one lobster cop things. Yes, exactly, right? This doesn't look suspicious at all, huh? According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more info. Oh no. Frog Detective, you didn't, did you? He's gonna get framed. I just know it. He's, he's gonna get framed. Great, I found the hats. I'm sure Aaron will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Given all the suspicious stuff you've been doing in this part of the game, um, I don't think... It was great that I'm pretty sure someone photographed you digging up the hats. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. This guy. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem. And I am nervous. Please do not laugh. 
<laughs> well, it's shaping up to be Frog Detective 3, Frog Detective goes to prison. Yeah, for real. I had a feeling that's where this was going. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, and head off because he was bored. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went, back to bed. Hey, it's the poem we helped him make. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I'm pleased to announce I've recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I'm pleased to announce I've found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It's with great sadness I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. Wait, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties a detective to the crime. What evidence? This! The photo somebody took. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, Detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you can't wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I, I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put fraud detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! An excellent if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. You will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, that's in that case. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> bad room gets sent to the bad room as an achievement. I don't know. Whatever will he do? He's in trouble now. Is that where we're ending with him in jail? It is, isn't it? Really? <laughs> Those look like normal windows on the bad room. Staring Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Yeah, right. 
Probably tagged him as the burglar, oh no. Introducing Mason Mole as the sheriff. Guest starring Mary as young frog detective and young supervisor. Oh yes. Game by Worm Club. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Yes, there was much corruption. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Frog Detective, you were dumb if you thought life was fair with how this shaped up. <laughs> Special thanks, Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. Yeah, right. Special apologies, Frog Detective fans, Optimus, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Kylie Minogue. I feel like she'd be upset. Friends and family. <laughs> Anyone else to credit, and there's still time left on the song. The following credits are. <laughs> that's okay, that's funny. From an unrelated TV show. That's funny. I've not even seen Degrassi either. <laughs> Took my time in learning how to be the best. So what comes now? Can't remember not doing right. But while I'm here. Okay, please tell me we're not going to be here for a year in the credits, like a whole year. Because that's how long he's in the bad room. Well, the song's over. Oh, you're blocking from the bad room. Okay. To my loyal frog blog readers. Now I have a mouse cursor. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know I'm innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective. Well, maybe someone is still out there reading. Someone still believes you. Oh, Mystery Monkey from the first one. This is terrible. 
I can't believe this. What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog, blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Mystery Monkey 49, yes. Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Uh, of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? Yeah, how? I have to solve the mystery myself. Uh-oh, we're not done. Oh. It's de it's detective transformation time. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Oh, ne okay, yeah. Now we're Mystery Monkey. A little bit later. Just when I thought they were going to leave it like that with him in jail. I mean, not not jail, the bad room. Sorry. <laughs> Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your, of your detectives. That was a great magical girl transformation sequence, yeah. Ah, oh, is the lobster cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? Detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there's a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. You know the detective is guilty. The punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh, no. What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He read shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around at Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. Monkey, new playable character unlocked. That's funny. Yeah. I shouldn't stoop in lob Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Oh, really? Really? We can't? He's very suspicious. Are you sure? Do we just have to look in Frog Detective's room? I guess. Hmm. What is this? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Oh. Nope. Anything else? No. Just that on the desk. Okay.
Can can I put this down now or are we not done? Can can I put this down? Can we put that away, please? Oh, I didn't reveal stuff on the floor yet. That's why it wouldn't let me put this stuff away. Ooh. It looks like we have to investigate in number one cop's office. Oh, gee. Huh, it couldn't be. Yeah, it could. Totally could. You know, I really think Lobster Cop is kind of a fraud. Wouldn't surprise me. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? A lot of things. A copy of the detective's notebook? Oh, a picture of him with Mason Mole. Lobster Cop and Mason Mole? A note. It reads... For Mason Mole. Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me. Your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. It wasn't easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear your suspicions are correct, and that frog detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. You keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, the position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. I don't know. Like, that's not how it works. This can't be true. Lobster cop? Number one best detective? A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has to be... There's been a terrible misjustice. Yeah, there has. Oh, gee, I wonder why there's a keep out sign. Is it because you're a fraud too? Hello? Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our church, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. A oh, duality of frog. And one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful. Also be a stealer of all our hats. Frog's so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw! So live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Yeah, sure. We all saw the photo. His furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog, de Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, oh, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. 
Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved Frog Detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you'd point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole is a detective locked up in Bad Room in the back of his sheriff's office. Damn Sherman. Yeah. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Amazing how the actual supposed outlaws are less corrupt and criminal than the, um, actual one. It's... Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I know I've allowed visitors in bad room. Or anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery monkey is proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. Ad break, sorry. Waiting for it to go away. Ad break ended, so we're back. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop's been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Hopefully this next one will go better. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case, but it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> huh, what? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office, that's a crime! Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. <laughs> As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not. 
I... Yes? Um, hello? This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You were so methodical in your case solving. I'd read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one de best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? The lobster cop, you, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important. We were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested a lobster cop that... Two lobster cop that I helped take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. Yeah, subtle. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed that got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, let my jealousy get the best of me. How do you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats, and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating, I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How's someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> Difficult for a red lobster to turn green? Yeah, probably. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you've abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. May do something that helps contribute to society. The cop no longer. Okay. You'll hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you don't know, Frog Detective. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lox Lobster Cop the gum. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. <laughs> wow, real critiques of the criminal justice system. Mm hmm. Seems that way. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs they've done. Detective acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Because that makes up for everything, right? Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. That's really kind of you to accept that after what you've been through. You 
Say, no, that's all sorted. I have an announcement to make. Oh, Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... <laughs> Mystery Monkey! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and Frog Detective isn't even number one still. Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective, again! This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Yeah, cause what is a frog detective game without dancing? Can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole? Yeah. You're invited too! Very nice and forgiving to let the people who framed him be at the party. And it's the end. For real this time, I think. The end of Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. The end of what is the Frog Detective trilogy. And of course we have more dancing. Oh, and they wrote and did the music for the song that they played. <laughs> I made you and I can destroy you. But I'd say he got undestroyed there in the end, finally. Well, that was a cute and fun and quirky little set of games. Two weeks later. You know, leave this stream having learned so much. Yes, yes, we can, right? What, there's another, f what? There's another phone call or not? Yes. Oh, and look, our dance party at the saloon. Lovely. Okay, this can't be another case because this is it. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective? Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. Okay, please don't be a lobster cop, okay? But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. It's gonna be like simple and then the end, right? Hi. Hello. Hey, detective. Well, 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 this is Mystery Monkey 49. It's you, Fry Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know, I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. Hey, 
a birthday party. Surprise! Hmm? Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. Haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all may arrange to come here and surprise you. It worked. That's not all, detective. We got you a present. This should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. <laughs> Look at them in their new job. Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Open it up. <laughs> a hat! He has a hat now. Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Hey, it fits. Look at that. Well, when you look at that, it's a hat that fits. Aww. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. Well, you're welcome. We've loved making these games for you and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Yay! That was fun. Our latest host science discovery. Jam! Love Mo and Mystery Monkey. Collaborating on our latest potion. Lola and Mandy. We're celebrating, we're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. See you soon. Love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, TM. Fresh Axe. Yeah, I figured he would get a sponsorship. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. From Noodle and Barney. Thanks for a date. Add so much fun. Sure. Oh, they went on a date after all. Awesome. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading. Bernie. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. From Ronda Dynamite. <laughs> Good. Glad she learned to do things the right way. Without violence. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best Ralph. We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. My first day of cowboy school. Dusty. Employee of the month of the post office. Thanks, Mason Mole. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. Look at him go. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third, Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. Oh no. I broke my leg. Sent from my phone, naughty. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. Really? That's a long time. You've been in there for over a year? Ugh. Probably met my lob hero, Lobster I mean, Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. 
OMG Sherman, yeah, OMG is right. Frog Detective went on a date after all. That's awesome. And... It is finished. The end. That was a fun little set of games. And the last one was longer than I thought if the first two were rather short. But, you know, glad I did that. Glad I just went through all of them in that case. That was fun. I hope you had fun too. Thank you for being there and watching as Frog Detective um, solved rather unhard cases accidentally got framed after doing weird suspicious things he shouldn't have done and watching as we help clear his name now i'm finally going to see if there's someone to raid you know it's thanks for being here it means a lot to me glad to be back after having my little break i'll be back tomorrow with Slime Rancher 2 at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Is there anybody to raid? Anybody at all? No, it's been a while. Let's let's say hi to Stuart. So let's go. We'll set things up and we can head right over. How to caps lock. There we go. only I could type now. Okay, thank you for being here. It's been wonderful and fun today. Hope your 2024 has gotten off to a great start. And without further ado, let's go say hi to Stuart.